starting a new series of videos called Cooking for Kids. I'm turning 10 in two weeks and hope you enjoy these videos. Let's get started. Okay, so we're making a Victoria sponge today. It was the first thing I made with my mum. What ingredients do we need? So today we're going to be needing butter. We use stalk butter because it's really nice for the cake. We need vanilla extract, it makes it yummy. We need eggs, self-raising flour, caster sugar, and we have our sponge tins here. And we use greaseproof paper. It just makes it really nice when it comes out. And we also need our scales, which are here. Okay, so at the end, when we have finished the cake, we will need um, some buttercream. So we need British icing sugar, salted butter to make the icing. We use a mixer, and if you don't have a mixer, you could use a hand mixer or a fork with a bowl. Here's the measurements and the ingredients coming up on the screen now. Let's weigh our ingredients together. First, we need to beat the butter and the sugar together. We use grams. You need 225 grams of butter. We've got 207 grams now. I think we will make it, hopefully, to, oh my God, 215 at the moment. Just trying to scrape everything out because we've not got that much left now. Can I come off my spawny? Spawny. Okay, 227. That's enough. 230. Maybe I'll take that out. Take that out. Not that much. God. There we go. 224. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Whilst that's beating, let's um, pour in the sugar. We're using grams again. We need 225. Sugar whilst it's still heating. I'm gonna put it on two so I don't fall. Okay. Oh, can we close that? It's my witch. No, 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 no. Now let's whack it up to twelve. No, we'll let it beat for a few minutes. Look. Then we're going to start whisking with the fork. There we go. Let's put that down, put that aside. Now we'll start whisking. We need to pop those out. Let's look at our mixture. Oh, it's nice and white and fluffy. That's how we want it. We can slowly start pouring our eggs in now. So I'm just going to put that over there. Okay. We don't want to add it in too fast. So we're just going to pour a little bit. Because it will turn really, like, mushy and really bad. So I'm going to wait a little bit. I might whack it up a few notches. Let's pour the rest of the eggs in. Meow. Did we go? Oh no, it looks like it's curdling a little bit. If it does this, put a um, spoonful of flour in. Oh, and then it should mix it. Let's put it up. So now we need 225 grams of safe raising flour. Have you noticed there's a pattern here that is always 225? Big boy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so we don't want to beat anymore. We want to fold it because if you beat even more, the air might come out. And we like it how it is because, as you see, it's nice and fluffy. We like it how it is. Folds gently. 
make sure the air doesn't come out. It's all lovely and creamy now. I think it's ready to go in the tin. They're in their tins now, ready to go in. We have a fan oven. We have it on 160 to 180. My mummy's put them in the oven. Do not open the oven door because they may flatten. The cakes are out the oven and now we're just gonna leave them on the cooling rack. With a really flat knife, just go around the edges so it can come out easily. Yeah. It's like a nice, smells nice. Doesn't matter if you get a bit like that off. Because they're still hot, my mum's gonna flip them out. Oh, that's so good. There's like the tracing paper, whatever it's called. Oh, that's so nice. Just want to eat a bit in a minute. Still got to get the jam and the icing. Oh, yummy. We need to leave them now to completely cool. Cakes are ready to ice now. We've left them to cool down for a couple of hours, probably more than it needed. Um, it was probably dry about an hour ago. As you can probably see, it's dark outside. So we're gonna add the icing and the jam on. Here's the recipe. So what we need is vanilla, some more of vanilla extract. We need some British ice sugar. And we need some salted butter to make the icing. And in three, two, one, here's the recipe we're going to use. Three, two, one. Okay, so we need 150 grams of butter, salted butter or unsalted butter. It, it's up to you, basically. So we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> On my channel, I really hope you've enjoyed all my videos that I posted, my skiing um, and my vlogs. I didn't finish most of them because I was um, busy because I was going back to school after that into year five okay, so i'm just gonna cut about that off i think that will just be enough so 150 we needed oh no it's gonna need more get me it's really important to have soft butter because if you have hard butter you won't be able to mix it so have soft butter like this add a little bit more in 143 just a bit more 146 about that 152 that's nearly there so let's do our next step we'll put this one to mix like we did in the first step 12 you're going to put it on just because you want it to go quickly now we need 300 grams of icing sugar how don't we add enough sugar here this is a new packet to um, sift the ice and sugar to make sure it's nice and smooth and a couple of drops of vanilla extract we've had to start off slow just because if you put it on like 12 say like we did for the other one the ice and sugar would just like go everywhere if it's taking a while to mix you can also add a couple of hot drops um, of water to it you can see it's coming together. Let's turn it up. There we go. So now we can put it on 12. The ice will come out hopefully. There we go. Couple of drops of water in. Whilst that's mixing, let's put some strawberry jam on. You can put any jam on you like. You want the best half to go on the top. That's the reason why you choose the best half. So you want to spread it around nicely so it's even. Some more. It doesn't have to be strawberry jam, it can be just jam if you want. You could have blueberry jam, you could have raspberry jam, you could have cherry jam. 
Um, anything that you want that you think will taste nice on your cake. Be gentle with the pressure, because if you go hard, it would just be like, eh. Yeah. white fluffy that is okay so you're gonna need big dollops of this then you're gonna get your palette knife and you're gonna smooth it out oh my god it's hard to get out so we need about this much of a dollop just slowly spreading it around the cake you don't want to press too hard because if you press too hard the cake will break and come away push from the middle it doesn't have to look perfect because it's going in the middle and you're going to eat it anyway so i think that's nice and even now i'm not going to eat that because it's got lots of sugar in it and i don't think i really want to eat that so I'm going to get my mum to do it, just in case I drop it on the floor, because I'm a clumsy clock. Oh, look at that! How nice that is. And the final touch to make it look beautiful is some icing sugar over the top. Here's the finished project, now let's cut a slice. thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed this cake recipe please do this recipe um it's really easy and really simple to make it only takes an hour or so i would say basically get an adult if you're like a kid basically like me i'm nine um leave a like subscribe and ring the notification bell bye